Okay, so we're here once again in Science Simulator, and we have now gotten back the competitive leaderboards in the game. So, with obviously the new leaderboards coming out over here, obviously with Rebirth being gone, um, we got two different leaderboards instead, um, that added in currency leaderboards and the time leaderboard. Obviously the egg leaderboard is still around, and in turn with that we also have the competitive leaderboards now. So, obviously we still have the eggs one, we now have the time, competitive leaderboard, and also the currency one. So, really cool actually, and obviously um, these pets over here are for the top uh, 100, top 10, and top 50. Um, right now, as it stands, I will be getting the rolls, uh, I don't even know how you pronounce that, Ultim ultimatum? Rolls ultimatum or something like that, um, the top 50 one. Because I am currently in the top 50 on the currency leaderboards, if I am correct, uh, they are 41st. Now, it didn't actually take me that long to get up there, um, mainly because I am doing 505,000 research per second. Um, I also do have the new fast auto click uh, game pass, and if we do quickly go into the shop real quick, um, there is actually a couple new game passes that come with this update, um, like teleportation, so you can teleport between all the worlds. And there is also the faster clicking, which means you just get a couple more clicks per second, um, which is really, really good. So with the faster clicking, mine went up from about 400,000 to 500,000. So it's definitely worth it. And obviously in turn with that, it's helped me get on top of, well, onto the, uh, research, the research currency leaderboard thingy blah, 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 over here. And I'm currently at 9.2 billion. Um, and obviously there is a couple people around me. Um, so hopefully we can stay in the top 50 and get ourselves that Rose Ultimatum, or Ultimatum or however you pronounce it. Um, but along with the competitive leaderboards, we also have a brand new egg. So this is the rainbow egg, and as you can see, here are the chances for everything. Um, so fairly difficult for some of these uh, little ones down here. I believe this is like 1 in 3,000 or something like that. So it's not exactly too hard, but obviously you won't be expecting to get a lot of them. Um, but I'm, I should have all of these in my inventory, so let's just quickly go through and have a quick look at all the stats and stuff. So, I'm not, I can't remember their names properly, so I'm going to have to find them near. So, this is the Rainbow Dragon. I'm pretty sure this is the easiest one. Uh, at 68 Research at level 1. Obviously, I have a ton of these. Then there is the Rainbow Ghost. This is a Tier 2 at 74 Research. And then the harder one, um, the Tier 3, is 80 Research, which is really good. Now, I can't quite make a rainbow one of that, or a shiny one, and I can't make a shiny one of that. But we have already gotten loads of shiny uh, rainbow dragons, so I'm just going to go ahead and craft all anyways. And craft them all up. And I also do have one on my team right now. It does 271 research, so not quite as good as the SS gem. But obviously the shiny uh, rainbow mask thing will be a lot better, so I'm going to go ahead and equip my best team once again. And that is how much research I'm actually doing. So hopefully I should be on the uh, leaderboards fairly easily. It literally only took me, I think I missed like around six hours or so of the leaderboards. But it only took me about half an hour to actually get onto the leaderboards. And ever since then I have gotten all the way up to 41st. So yeah, hopefully we'll be staying in the top 50. Should be staying in the top 50 quite comfortably. Um, in terms of eggs, I'm pretty sure I've already missed getting on the leaderboard of eggs. So... Realistically, I'm just kind of lucky to stay on the leaderboard for currency, and it should be fairly easy considering I have do I do have quite a strong team. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can get the secret pet out of this one. There is actually two. I believe there is a one in one million and a one in five million. I'm not too sure on the stats, but obviously once I hatch one, I will obviously make a video on it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.